death. It's one of the most common phobias in the world, with every person having experienced the feeling of that fear once in their life. So I started thinking, what if there was some group who welcomed death? And after all my late nights researching and planning and searching the web, I finally found paganism. Well, how does one practice paganism? Paganism is actually an umbrella term for a movement of different nature-based practices. It's not a religion, but a way of life. Lucky for me, I got to attend one of the most significant practices in the Celtic faith, Samhain. It's a time where pagans of all paths come together to celebrate the dead. It's a really beautiful time of the year, really, and a lot of people use it for divination. So they may do tarot readings, they may do seances, so they they can commune with the dead. Okay, so I may not be all too familiar with communicating to the dead, but what I am familiar with is the importance of connection to your ancestors. I wanted to know, is there really a difference between our practices and theirs? Within the Orthodox religion, and in fact the Christian religion, it um, strictly says in the Bible, those who follow false gods are not accepted. I personally believe that um, pagan religion stems from Christianity, or it is a form of Christianity that's adapted through the modern age. But does it? Pagans see that the God is is within us. So... um, there, I don't know if all Christians believe this, but a lot of them believe that if you die, you stay in the ground until the second coming or whatever, and then they rise up. But we don't believe that. We believe that um, when you die, you go into the other world to a place where you're supposed to be, you know, and, and you meet back with your family and your friends. And, Did you know that Halloween is actually a pagan celebration that marks the beginning of Samhain in the Northern Hemisphere? Because this time of the year, the veils between the worlds are quite thin. And so how Halloween evolved was that um, people being very highly superstitious um, thought with the spirits coming through the veil that they would capture them and take them back into the other world. So they would wear... Um, spooky outfits or whatever to fool them. That was the theory of it. A 2011 census found that 32,100 Australians identified with some form of pagan practice. That's a rise in 3,000 people from 2006. With numbers of practitioners growing, I took to the streets to get people's opinions on paganism. I don't know what it is. Sorry. (laughs) Um, I know absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> uh, witches. Witches? Yeah. Yeah, they need help. But, uh, how, do you, how does one be, be a pagan? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, I don't know. What, do you, what do you do? Well, people think it is evil that you're in the devil thing, but it's not. It, you know, it does a lot of good. It makes me happy. I, mean, I like all the, um, the oils and the, all the good stuff that comes out of it, so yeah. I mean, a lot of people that know me actually know that I do like it, but I don't advertise it either. Like, it's not something that, you know. Maintaining a relationship with their deceased ancestors remains an important tradition within their practices. Ancestors was very important to them because they would seek advice from their ancestors. So there'd always be some sort of spiritual person that would communicate with the ancestors to get some advice. What do the Christians believe? The Christian belief um, celebrates death that the physical body dies, however the soul lives forever. So it's actually a celebration of the soul itself and not the human body. The most important part of it is about um, honouring the dead, honouring the fact that we've lost our loved ones. And some people would put a candle in the window to let their loved ones know that they're welcome home. Or they would have a feast and they'd put a, a place setting and some food there for their ancestors. And it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what path you take. If you, as long as you get there, that's the most important part. You know, the road to enlightenment. Yeah. Do you want me to move it or do you have it for a time? Someone's just been taken a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can, yeah. This is Brittany Andonovsky for Modern Exploration.